and Dr. Cyrus Punawala, uh, CMD and founder of Serum Institute of India, Pune. Serum Institute's uh, philosophy was to have uh, a philanthropic approach right from the beginning of making low-cost uh, serum and vaccines. And obviously, the outside India, the two agencies that would be looking for this sort of a product was PAHO and uh, UNICEF. And uh, Dr. Potkins was kind enough to give us the strain for rubella and encourage us to make it. Then we realized that we could be the world's uh, cheapest uh, and largest rubella vaccine and MR vaccine manufacturer. Obviously, Pao was the region which really took up for eliminating rubella in the Americas, more than the countries that have been uh, associated with uh, UNICEF. And that's how our synergy with uh, Pao developed uh, stronger and stronger. Uh, Serum Institute this is a good question, very easy to answer. We already got 600 million doses of bulk of rubella, that's enough for five years to protect the world. So we've got excess stock. And Zero uh, uh, Cross is one of those who really took up the propagation of the rubella elimination campaign, and uh, I'm grateful to him for that. An amazing surprise to Serum Institute, and particularly to me, because my government and my country have never bothered to recognize whatever we have done for uh, the infant underprivileged children of the world. And it was really a really good gesture on the part of Pao to come forward with this uh, 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 very important award. Yes, admittedly that we are the <clears throat> foremost uh, uh, vaccine manufacturer in the developing world and the emerging world. In fact, the, on numbers, we are making uh, pediatric vaccines that are more than all the U.S. companies put together. But only in numbers. In value, we are one-tenth of what they make on the vaccines. We have set the, the goalpost for all the other Indian companies who are now rapidly taking a hint to it. And India is therefore from 25 years ago, where we were nowhere, become a very important uh, vaccine hub uh, globally. Well, uh, yes, uh, it would be, uh, I could say with all humility that uh, oh, we're almost there in numbers in any case. Um, it's only a question of uh, value revenues and there, U.S. is naturally ahead of us and newer vaccines like rotavirus and meningitis as well as pneumonia, pneumococcal vaccine. But in three years' time, we're catching up and uh, uh, certainly India will make uh, more vaccines than any other country is doing in the world. We are already in the process <coughs> of, uh, we're in two, phase two for rotavirus mm -hmm. and we're in, um, in the talks for a new more. Uh, as well as we've recently launched for the first time in the world a conjugate uh, A vaccine for Sub-Saharan Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, all these vaccines are within our reach, but we are about three years <coughs> behind. And uh, once we're there, the big secret of our success is that we not only give you numbers, but we give you the vaccine at one-tenth the price. In fact, except PAHO and Sabin Institute, which has given us a Global Philanthropy Award uh, four years ago in, in New York, uh, unfortunately, most of the beneficiary countries have uh, never bothered to even uh, correspond with us. And I would say with a lot of anguish, the biggest defaulter is the Health Ministry and Government of India they don't even bother to look at us. Well, they're, they're going to depend on us. Yeah. They have no choice there because their public sector vaccine institutes have uh, completely collapsed. But uh, from the economic angle, uh, we're not bothered about 
their support. But it's, it's a pity, uh, as I'm a, a great Indian nationalist uh, person, I, I feel very strongly that America should recognize us more than once, but not the Indian government or some other countries. I believe Africa, with the launch of many, have been very grateful, and they've invited us there uh, and want to felicitate us for the many.